Hey, everybody. Welcome to Lunch and Learn. Um, I want to share with you two quick ideas today that I think are really going to help you boost loyalty to your customers and a flood of sales really fast. So the first thing I'm going to share with you is you need to be excited about an idea or a contest or a concept. Otherwise, it's never going to go over big with your customers. I remember back in the day, this is probably 15 years ago, somebody shared an idea of a hostess incentive for, with me. And it got me so excited. I jumped on the phone and within one night, I booked like four parties. And it's not so much what it was, although I'll tell you what it was. It was offering your customer, your hostess or your client um, $75 for $25. And so it's like, that's a huge, huge, massive discount. It's like, I tell them it's like 60 something percent off. It's more than, it's better than half off. You get to pick $75 of anything you want. It's only $25. All you have to do is have three people over to your house. And I literally got four customers to book immediately. And, but I was excited about the concept. I was excited about what it offered. I, I was, I just was overall excited. So when I called them, they could sense that in my voice. <clears throat> so the two ideas I'm going to share with you right now, pick the one that excites you. It's not about what excites me. It's what excites you. So I will tell you the new boosters I am totally in love with. And so I want to tell you guys, it is double credit. I don't know when you're listening to this. It may be not double credit, but who doesn't want to have a massive influx of money coming in, right? And getting customers excited and customers happy. So with that said, I want you to jot down a couple ideas. So you could do any one of the sheets and I'm gonna share these really quick because they're on, on my Facebook page. Um, any one of the sheets that promotes like $24 to 24 people in 24 hours, you know, those kind of things. Those are geared up to be um, driven to get you on the phone, right? And to have you get your customers excited about stuff. So there's a couple different options. There's this one, which is selling $24 to 24 people in 24 hours. And so you could send them this and say, oh my gosh, my 24, 24, 24 day is tomorrow. I'd love your support. Please check your bathrooms, check your purse, see what you might need. Feel free to text me. I'm taking orders tonight and my deadline is tomorrow. And so you could offer something as a special, or you could put their name into a drawing. Like if they, when you reach 24 people, you could have them, or when you reach, um, you know, 24 orders at $24, you could have them, um, sorry, I just got somebody jumping on, so I just was a little distracted there. Anyway, um, you could do a drawing and tell them they, they could get their item at half off or they could get their item for free or whatever you want to offer. But this is one, one option. There's also this one. These are all with the new prices, $24 to 24 people in 24 hours. There's also this one, which is $48 to 48 people in 48 hours. So it just creates that bigger momentum, you know, so that it goes for 48 hours, right? So I wanted to just show, show those to you so that you could use something like that if you wanted to, to create excitement. So I'm gonna put a slightly different spin on it. What if, so it's, it's this is our 58th year in business. So I have had um, great success at different times getting customers to order or to, um, fall in love with product and that kind of a thing. So what I what I will share with you is if you had, if you focus on the number 58, sometimes people don't like to focus on a dollar amount, like a certain amount of sales. So this is one thing that I did. I did this back in, I think it was October or November last year and I had great success. And I think I'm gonna go ahead and do it tomorrow. So what I'm doing is I'm selling 58 items in 24 hours. So it's kind of an incentive to your clients if they buy more items. So for example, Victoria, yesterday I called and she called me back and ordered four items. So technically, I'm going to take a sheet number at one to 58 and I'm going to put her name on four lines. I am going to keep track of how much she buys. So I'll put each like ticket one. I'll just put on their her initials VB and it was, let's say it was the repair eye cream. So 40, whatever that is, $46. Okay. The next thing was a lip liner. So I'll put on their VB, her initials, and then I'll put 12. So what I'm going to do is when I hit 58 items in 24 hours, I'm going to draw a ticket and that person's going to get that item for free. Now, it could be an expensive item because Kelly yesterday bought a Sonic brush. I might pick her name. She gets a whole $75 Sonic brush. But the point of it is, is if I have 58 people, excuse me, if I sell 58 items and let's just say the average item was $20, would you agree that's pretty conservative? Because granted, eyeliners cheaper, lip liners cheaper, eyeshadows lipsticks, but most, I would say $20 is a pretty, there's nothing in the time-wise line that's under 20, right? So if they're going to, if they're going to reorder, I think $20 was a good benchmark. So if you had 58 
items sold with an average price of $20 in 24 hours, correct? That's $1,160 in sales. Now I know for me, by me not focusing on the dollar, for some reason, I think I just convey that different to my clients. So when I say to them something like, hey, I'm doing this challenge, maybe I'm gonna donate $100. And I'm saying I'm donating $100 to the Mary Kay Foundation in honor of Mary Kay. It's our 58th year in business. And I'm um, reaching out to all my clients for every item you order, it counts toward me getting to 58. I only have 24 hours to do this. So everything you need counts. It doesn't matter how big or small the item is, everything counts. And your name goes on a ticket for every single item you purchase. So for example, yesterday I had Judy order a skincare item, a skincare item, a skincare item, um, a CC cream and a lipstick. So two items, only one item of her five were under $20. Okay, Susan Lamb only ordered two things. She used Serum C and Repair Eye Cream or Repair um, Night Cream. Both items were over $40, right? So keep in mind, that might be a great concept for you is to just run with that, selling 58 items in 24 hours and do it to honor the Mary Kay Foundation. You could donate a percentage. You could donate whatever you want to do. You could not donate. You could donate to a local organization. If you have a local shelter you're passionate about, or if you're an ARF person with animals and you want to donate to them. It's just women love helping you with a goal, right? They love helping something local. So all of those things can play into a factor. So you could use one of the sheets that I showed you on our Facebook page, which is like $24 to 24 people in 24 hours. But I find for me, I tend to get more excited about saying, well, is there anything else you need? Because I'm going to get to my 58 items. So you guys, I will tell you this is doable because Marty Padilla in our unit, I gave out a challenge to sell, I think it was to sell 58 items in a week, not a day, in a week. And Marty did over 82 items in two days. So I know this is totally possible. And so when I was on yesterday calling customers, I bet I probably sold probably close to 20 items yesterday. I wasn't tracking to get to 58. You could do 58 in 48 hours if you wanted to, but can you imagine if you did this right now and you chose to go from noon on Friday to noon on Sunday, and you say, I only have 48 hours to sell 58 items. Is there anything you'd love to have to stay beautiful? Now, I know as a consultant, I never knew what to say. I didn't want to say, so Karen, do you want to get anything or do you want to buy anything? <laughs> so then I would just not call Karen my customer because I didn't know what to say. So I heard years ago that, that comment. And so I've used that. I would just call Karen and say, Karen, how are you? Are you staying healthy? And I use that now because people are getting colds, flus, strep throat, COVID, whatever. And so that just strikes a conversation. I said, well, hey, I'm going to be um, in your neighborhood tomorrow or I'm coming to Concord tomorrow. Or you could say, I'm in this anniversary challenge to help the Mary Kay Foundation. Or I'm raising money in the next 48 hours for the local domestic violence shelter. And I'm committed to donating whatever you want, maybe 20% of your profits, which is 10% of your sales to the, local, to the local charity of your choice or your church or whatever it is you want to do. And say, so I just thought I'd check to see if there's any items, items, plural, items you need to stay beautiful. And say, and by the way, with every purchase over 30, you do get a gift with purchase. Or you could do over 40, whatever you choose to do. But think about this. If you had 50, if you sold 58 items, and you could do it either in 24 or 48 hours, totally up to you, but pick one. Don't go for one and then switch, just pick one, right? If it if the average item is $20. Um, that it's going to net you $1,160 in sales. Now, you guys, half of that you could put in an order. The other half of it you could put in your pocket or do 60, 40 or whatever your split is, depending on your inventory. So another concept I wanted to do is I love the new boosters. I have to say the new boosters, in my opinion, are the easiest product. Ideally, it's with customers that are on skincare, but it doesn't have to be they're on our skincare, right? They could be on anything. And they're going to get amazing results. So I don't know about you all, but I haven't sold a lot of lipsticks in the last two and a half years or two years, right? Because everyone's had a face mask on. But now with the weather getting nicer and masks coming off, I, I think women have lost their lipsticks because they haven't used them in two years. They're like, where are my lipsticks? So I've had several class customers ask me about the new lipsticks or see the colors that I posted or whatever. So what I'm doing is if you get have a client buy both of the boosters, and I apologize, I was going to have the prop here and I don't. But if they buy both the clinical solutions, <clears throat> the wrinkle, the wrinkle one, as well as the hydrator one, okay, those two products, <laughs> excuse me, <clears throat> total $76. So if I have 20 customers 
purchase those. And what I'm doing is I'm saying, I'm looking for a panel of 20 women who would like to try these. I need you to take a picture. You don't have to show anybody the picture, bare, clean skin, naked, no makeup on and natural lighting near a window, take a picture. And then I need to take a picture again in 30 days. And I need you to be super, super loyal about using this every morning and every night and let them know they're going to be on a panel for just saying, thank you for being on a panel. You could give them what I'm going to do is give them the cho their choice of either, you know, the new mini masking sets. So those are, so if they're willing to be on my panel as a gift, because I am asking them to buy these, this is not like I'm giving them the two serums and then they're going to pay me later. I'll say, when you purchase both serums, knowing that at any point, if you aren't loving the results, I will take them all back. You get as a gift, either the deluxe, um, I don't want to call it a travel size, but the, like, I don't know, the, the, the an ultimate size. Um, charcoal mask or the deluxe ultimate size gel mask. So which would you like as a gift? You can also purchase these as a set as 18, but I'm letting you have one or the other as a gift for being on the um, on the, the panel for me, the booster panel. So here's the deal, guys. If you've got 20 customers that say, yes, I'll be on your panel. Now I'm letting them choose this as a gift or this as a gift or any lipstick at half off. That's just what I'm offering. So if, if uh, Rachel said to me, Diane, I'm, I'd love to be on your panel. I said, great, I will send you both both of the products, as soon as they come, let me walk you through really quick. They're super simple to use. Would you prefer Rachel as a gift for free, either the deluxe charcoal or the deluxe moisture gel mask or any lipstick at half price? They might choose an $18 lipstick at half off, which you don't lose anything. But gang, do you realize these out of pocket only cost you $4.50? Well, I'd rather give them one of these than a PCP gift because, or a section two gift because those don't count toward me being a star or sales court or anything. So these are $4.50 my cost. So I brought an extra 10 boxes of these in addition to the ones I have to sell. And I just put them in a cute little cello bag with a little bow on the top with a, like a tablespoon of shred on the bottom. They just look cute. So I had a teenager come over and she wrapped 10 of these, 10 of these. So I have 20 gifts. And so as soon as somebody says yes to me, yes, I'd love to be on your panel. And I said, great, I just have to have you pinky promise me. You're gonna use them every single day, take a picture, and maybe you do it 20 days, do it for 20 days. Um, and then at the end of the 20 days, if you love everything, great. If you don't, I'll take back whatever you don't love. Now, if you guys have 20 customers, y'all agree, you know, 20 women who want to have better results, right? Who doesn't know 20 women who want better results? 20 customers buying the two boosters at retail. Granted, you're giving them this, that's going to come out of your profits, or you're giving them a half off lipstick, but just counting the boosters, that's $1,520. So if you took this weekend, you took the next 48 hours and you said, okay, my goal is in 48 hours to find 20 women. I would start with anybody you have on skincare. Then I would go to who's in your family. Who's in your family? Who's a sister, a mom, a cousin who says, look, here's the deal. I need some of my own personal before and after pictures and I'm using myself, but I'm looking for 20 women to be on a panel. He purchased both of the boosters at $76. If at any point, you are not in love with the results. I will check. I'm going to check in with you on day seven, day 14, and day 21. On day 21, the panel's done. If you are in love with everything, great. If you are not in love, I will take back whatever you're not in love with. And just for being on the panel, you get to choose either one of these as a gift from me um, or a half, off, a half off lipstick. What do you think? Would you be on my panel? And so if you think about it, if you get 20 women, 20 women to say, yes, I want better results. And it doesn't, I mean, it could be, Suzanne could have a customer who all she's ever bought from Suzanne is CC cream, primer, and eye cream. Well, the girl's not on her skincare, which would be ideal, but if not, still get her on the boosters because that's that might be your way to kind of get her into skincare. Anybody who's bought skincare from you, anybody who's bought microderm from you, anybody who's bought clinical solutions from you. So, so those are just some ideas to generate huge sales over the next couple of days. Um, and then the last thing I want to share with you, let's say you decide you want to run with this booster idea. I want to share with you guys how to use the Mary Kay stuff as your, um, um, okay, as your way to reach your client. So let me just screen share on here really, really quick how to do this. So let me go back to where you guys are and I'm just going to screen share really quick. So you're going to log on to Mary Kay and touch. And under business tools, you're going to go down to customer e-cards, okay? And you're going to just click on the word customer e-cards. Oops, it already went to this one. <laughs> Sorry. So when you get to customer e-cards, you're going to see all these. There's promotion, there's team building, there's hostesses, all this stuff, right? 
Well, I want product promotion and I'm going down and I'm looking for the one with the boosters on it. Well, here they are. There's four of them. One with the website link and one's with people who don't have a website. But chances are all of you have a website, right? Now there's one just for the resveratrol line reducer. There's also one just for the hyaluronic acid um, hydrator one. But I don't want to use the individual ones. I want to use them together. So I'm going to pick the blank card that's promote, that promotes clinical solutions. So I'm going to click on this. Now, notice up here in the upper left, this is what's going to show in their email. It says, give skin a solution specific boost. That's not what I want to say. I want to say <clears throat> something like, would you be part of my, this is probably not the best words to do. Would you be part of my, or how about, would, will you, uh, would you, Would you be on my panel? <clears throat> um, uh, you might even put on here like a trial panel and, 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 and get a free gift and you get a free gift. So if, whatever words you want to type in there, type those in, right? Now down here is where you're going to maybe type your little thing. And I would, I would make it more of a teaser than be all inclusive. If it's really, really long, they're not going to follow it. Okay. So you might, so it already says dear and their name's already going to be in there. Now this is going to customers. So you might say, um, they like, I love these new boosters on my skin and I'm doing a panel, a, and I'm doing a customer, a client, a client panel, panel this week. Okay. Now here's what's interesting. Having a marketing background, when I used to do these and I'd tell it to the, I literally would email the marketing department at Mary Kay Corporate my results. They, I don't even know if anybody ever read my emails. I, I never got a response back from them. Actually, that's not true. One time I got a response from somebody that said, thank you for your information. But I just, I just send it to them anyway. So I love these new boosters on my skin. And I'm doing a client panel this week for Mary Kay. Would, oops. So you just type in here something like would, would you be a part of my panel? And then you could go into detail or whatever. So I'm just going to give you some examples, right? All right. So you type this great little note in, however you want it to do it. You obviously want to spell check it. Then what you're going to do is you're going to go up here and put next. You want to finish the note. I'm just trying to save time. So we're going to go to next. Now I want to send it to myself, first of all. So I'm going to go to C. And then I'm going to go to, I think I have like pages and pages and pages of C. So I'm going to go to the very last page because it's probably toward the end. Um, okay, so I got to go back a page. Hold on one second. I'm trying to find me. There I am. Okay, so I'm going to send it to myself. So I'm clicking on this. Now notice some of my customers have opted out and that's just sometimes they get too much information or whatever. Some of them have invalid emails and that kind of stuff, but I'm going to send it to me. And then let's say I want to send it to some of my other customers. So I'm going to click on them and then I'm going to say next. And it's going to then list all my customers that I've chosen to get it. And it's going to say, what day do you want it to go? And I want it to go today. So then I'm going to hit send. Now, if you don't want it to go today and you want it to go tomorrow, you just change the date. Okay. And I'm just going to hit send. Now, what's fun about that is, let's say you've got some people who you don't have entered in the Mary Kay in touch thing. You've got them in your personal email, right? So when I go to my personal email now, eventually it will, it takes a couple of minutes usually, it will show up here. It hasn't shown up here yet, but it will show up there. And then I can just take that email and I can forward it out. Um, what I would do if it, you know, this is just my thought is I'm going to go in and I'm going to share in a text the same wording that says, I'm doing a panel, check your email. I'd love for you. I only have 20 spots to be on this panel. Let me know if you, you know, text me back or, or, or did you get my email? Anything you always want to end the text with a question. So let me share with you the picture that I'm going to send um, for, to go with this. So I'm going to send the picture that somebody did. It's a before and after picture of a sales director with the um, clinic, with the um, boosters on her forehead. So this is the picture that I would put in my text because you can't insert 
Um, so this is the picture that I'm going to put in my text that says 10, 10 days of both boosters featuring the forehead. So you could even do this. You could even do the challenge for 15 days. They have to be on the panel for 15 days. Use it morning and night so that you can get results. And you might let them know that just for doing the panel for 15 days, they get that gift. They can choose between either one of the masks or a half off lipstick. But gang, if you had 20 customers say yes to your 15 day panel, and I think probably 15 days is probably a little bit more realistic. I don't know at 21 days. I think I would do it for 15 days, morning and night and say, you have to pinky promise me. <laughs> but I would send this picture because this to me speaks huge volumes. I mean, this is like, are you kidding me? So again, 20 customers doing that, it's $1,520. So those are just some ideas, you guys, to generate some really, really big, exciting sales over the next couple of days. All right, so let me know what questions you guys have. I wouldn't make it complicated. If it confuses you, it's gonna confuse them. I would offer something free and something half off. So if they will say yes to the panel, I'm just gonna let them choose one of these or a half off lipstick. Um, and then if you're gonna do the sell 58 items in 24 hours or the 24 by 24 by 24, just offer something. It could be, um, when you reach $24 to 24 people in 24 hours, you can let them know that their name goes on a ticket and you're gonna draw one and that customer gets her entire order at half off or she could have one item for free, whatever you wanna offer, just don't feel like you have to give too much away. I personally like the item thing because I always say, is there anything else you want? Is there anything else you want? Um, you could use the March promotion sheet. So like when Sharon Varner yesterday ordered the repair night cream, that's the only thing she ordered. I showed her the half off sheet She's very frugal. She's probably late sixties. And she says, no, I'm good. I'm not interested in the half off items. I said, okay. So I just delivered her that one $54 jar of, of um, night repair. But Judy, I delivered four skincare items and then four skincare. And then she ordered a lip liner and then she ordered a lipstick. So the lipstick and the lip liner were the only things that were under 20. But again, <clears throat> if I was tracking 58 items, she ordered five or six things. So then I went to her and I said, well, Judy, actually your order totals over 150. Do you want any three things on here? And she goes, oh yeah, I do. She goes, I want soothing eye gel. She goes, I'll take brow tint. And then she wanted the shape, the body cream. So I, you could count those towards your 58 items because she is buying them. Um, so whatever you guys want to do, but I will tell you, all of you could do this. Each and every one of you could do the sell 58 items in 24 hours and women love a cause. I'm like, well, if you think of anything else, call me back because I'm determined to cross the finish line. And your customers are like, okay, I said, or will you check with your daughter or your sister or your mom and see if there's anything they need? <laughs> so people love to help. And if somebody buys a set, I tell them every item in the set counts toward the items. So again, you guys could run this and you guys could do a 24 hour window or a 48 hour window. If you do 48, you could do $48 to 48 people in 48 hours, or you could do the 24, 24, 24, or you could do um, 58 items in 24 hours or 48 hours. Make it simple make it easy, be excited, get on the phone. Um, and I will just close with this. I yesterday texted 36 customers, texted, right? With a personal text for me. <clears throat> then I started, then I picked up the phone. I started calling them. And out of the 36 that I texted, I actually physically called 21. <clears throat> I think only four answered the phone. All the rest I left messages for. By the end of the day, two that I had left messages for called me back. Um, and then of the, of the, the text, one or two texted me back, but the net result was out of all of that effort, I got six customers that needed product. Um, seven, actually that's not true. Five customers that needed product, seven responded back to me. Two told me I'm totally good, Diane. Thank you so much for reaching out, but I'm good with all my stuff. Have a great day. But the other five that ordered their total orders came to a little over $500. So like Susan's order was only like 56, but Judy's order was one, I don't know over a hundred, almost everybody's orders was over a hundred. And one gal who bought a miracle set for me a year ago, who hasn't responded to me at all, reordered the miracle set, reordered hydrogel eye patches, reordered her CC cream and reordered her primer. So her order alone was almost 200. But here's the deal. If all I had done is done the mass text, I only got one that responded by text that ordered, but it was the phone calls right afterwards that made all the difference in the world. So don't hesitate to pick up the phone. It really does make all the difference.